Okay, that should do it. As we can see, this line is already working. That's pretty nice. So pro oh, this one's working too. And the, the lower ones are working as well. So that's working pretty well. As we can see, the power station, well, it has to produce more power now to, um, well, to power all the lights. So this bar is getting up. Once it's too high, we're gonna have a problem and we need to build more capacitors or stuff like that. But we'll deal with that later. What we need now is a kitchen and a yard. Well, the <laughs> the kitchen, obviously, the kitchen. The kitchen is still being built, but the yard isn't. So the yard, I guess it's supposed to be outside. Let your prisoners see the sun for a few hours a day under the watchful eye of your sniper top. Sniper towers. We're not having any sniper towers yet. Maybe later. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, minimum, si minimum size of 5 times 5 and needs to be behind at least one door. Well, it is. Of course, we built this whole prison like we... Well, we did a whole wall around it. So let's just... Well, it could be next to the shower like this. This is our yard now. It doesn't need anything else. So I guess we're done with everything we need. When we're talking about rooms, we only need two guards and two cooks now to have, well, our basic detention center working. Which is a great step for now, I guess. So let's drag this down here and use small pipes to connect the sink to the water. Or to the water pump station. Okay, so for now I'm gonna fast forward again so they can build everything. But well, why would I? Doesn't matter. Stuff we need to guards. Yes. Oh, they cost $100 per day. So those 840 on the top, which we're gonna get every day, are gonna get a bit lower now. Two wardens for four prisoners should be enough though. And we need two cooks. Two cooks for four prisoners should also be enough. Let's just put them here. And we completed our grant, so we're getting another 10,000 bucks. Pretty nice. Let's see what's up next. Maybe there's something else we could do. Administration center. Every prison protect projects needs... Uh, sorry. Every prison project needs a functional administration facility. Okay. Okay, so... With this contract we can pay our warden, which we obviously need, and an accountant. So the accountant is the one we need for what again? Wasn't there anything we couldn't do without a an accountant? Here, the finances. Okay, so we can see our kind of, yeah, our income and our normal spending per day once we have an accountant. Maybe we should do that for now, but we should at first make sure that our prisoners are quite happy. I mean, they can eat, they can sleep, they can shower, they have a toilet. Well, they have to sleep on a bench, but it's a holding cell. It's just for now, maybe later, or not maybe, but later on, we will create own cells for every, or every two or whatever of our prisoners. So let's look at the other grants. Oh, health and well-being sounds like, oh, I already accepted it anyway. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, that wasn't on purpose, but it's still a great thing, I guess, because, well, if somebody's injured or just getting sick, it's not too bad to have a, um, a medical ward and two doctors. Oh, well, better two than none, I guess. Let's build a medical ward. Let's just see how large it has to be. Medical ward, medical ward. I guess I'm blind. Oh, we can, we can enlarge this. Can we? Yeah, we can. Maybe I'm really just too blind to see anything. A medical ward. Why am I not seeing the medical ward? Or is the medical ward just an office? With a doctor in it? No. Psychologist requires an office. Medical ward. Security. Infirmary. Locked. You require health. I require health. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to get health. <laughs> okay, so that's not working for now. Can we maybe accept another grant then? 
Let's just see. Grants. Administration center. I guess that's better for now after all. Hey, we can do... Oh, we can always do two grants at a time. And once we have an account, we can raise the limit. Okay, so for now, let's just build two offices. At least that's something we can do. Every office needs to be a size of four times four. So let's put them down here. Maybe this, this is kind of a staff area then. Oh, wait a second. Let's do it like this. It needs to be four times four. So six times six should be the whole room. And this is six times five because we can just pull up this wall again. That should be working. Once it's done, we can just put the door here. Oh, wait. The entrance. Ah, I forgot about the entrance. Crap, crap, crap. Can we kind of stop this from... Yeah, we can. Whew. Okay, let's try this again. We are gonna put this wall down here. And now tell everybody to... 6 times 6 over here. And once again, 6 times 6 over here, which is 5 times 6, of course. And we need two entrances for that, of course. Let's put a staff door. I guess staff doors are best for offices. Here and here. What else do we need for an office? Let's see, we need an office desk, chair, filling cabinet. Okay, I already forgot everything. Filling cabinet, I remember that one. Over here, and let's put the other one here. We also need it. An office desk, makes sense. Let's put that one down here maybe. And down here. And now what else did we need? Let's see. The office, chair. Of course a chair. I, I, don't, I don't know why, why I didn't think of that. A chair. And turn it, nice. Why can't we? Oh, of course, we can put that up there yet. Let's just fast forward the time until we can. I'm gonna drink something. Okay, so now we're done. And we can build these chairs now. Let's see. We built two offices. Oh, we, we didn't build them yet because at first we need a wall over here and we need to tell the office that it's an office. And now we need some more power down here so our staff can see stuff. Staff can see stuff. Nice. Well, our daily cash flow is of course decreasing once again once we have those staff members. What does this one need? Oh, the chair. Ah, it's it's uh, it's there now. Okay, I was worried for a second there. We have three more hours to go. Once the prisoners are here, we're not gonna have so much time for everything, I guess. At least, well, I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit more troubling then. We need a warden now. We can only have one warden, so I guess that's a pretty good thing to hire him. Ah, okay, we can hire advanced staff members once we got him, and we can start researching stuff. Nice, so this is the warden's office now then. 200 per day. And what was the other thing? We are supposed to unlock finance through bureaucracy. This should be here somewhere? No? Bureaucracy, bureaucracy... What's this? It's a picture of the warden. Yeah, we we can sometimes find Polaroids in this game. They are like Easter eggs, achievements, I don't know. That You can just find them whenever some, something special happened. Ah, bureaucracy, it's over here, right with the warden's face. We are supposed to research the finance part first. It needs six hours to unlock. And costs us 500 bucks, which is okay. And once we have researched it, we can hire the accountant, which give, which will give us, or who will give us a more detailed report on our income and our spending situation. And she also needs an office, but we already built her an office. We just need to hire her afterwards, which will only work once we're done 
researching, but we can't see where the reach. Oh, I didn't click it. That's why we can't see how long the research is taken. Or I'm just seeing that we still can see. We can only see it once we click here. But still, not a problem for us. We don't have any power down here. Maybe we need one more electrical cable, or I'm just gonna build two. Doesn't matter anyway. So that one's working. The kitchen should be working. They are having some ingredients already. They're gonna start cooking soon, I guess, or at least once our prisoners are here. So that should be up and working soon. I'm pretty glad so far, not any trouble. Although I have to say, no prisoners, no trouble, of course. Oh, here we can see how far we've come with unlocking finance. So we can just watch this. And that was not the nicest bell ring. <laughs> this is the lockup period, apparently, where they aren't supposed, where our prisoners aren't supposed to leave their cell. But now the game is really gonna start. Our prisoners are coming in in a couple of seconds. Okay, and our jail doors are apparently closing themselves already. What's wrong with the canteen? There was... There was a problem there now, wasn't it? Well, let's just wait what will happen next. Our prisoners are coming with a bus. And we have four prisoners, apparently... Ah, we can click them, okay. Okay. So Alex Frost is 42 years old. He's supposed to be here for one year because he was drunk and didn't behave quite well while he was drunk. He has an ex-wife, three, no, four sons and a father. And he's been in jail before for possession, possession intent to supply, fraud, and handling stolen goods. So he served six years already. So just four, six years. <laughs> 0 0.6 years, of course. So he has about, well, 0 0.4 more years to serve. This guy has to be here a bit longer because he is in for 13 years for false imprisonment. Crap. And 10 years for trafficking. He's been in jail before for assault and perjury. Not so good. Oh, we can see, well, their character, not right now, but their mood, which seems to increase at the moment, which is quite nice. They don't have any condition. <laughs> they don't have any condition. No mental condition. Well, and this is their activity. Okay, the grading. Let's just see. Okay, the question is how well these pre these prisoners have been punished. So 10, let's just see. Okay, we can get a score between 0 and 10. We got 6 points for the fact that he served 12 years already and 23 points for the fact that he's stayed 118%. However, that's possible of his stay being locked up, which is quite some time apparently. And no reform stuff, so he's not um, well more educated than he's been before. He hasn't learned any jobs in prison yet. He, let's see, okay, he's been locked away for a lot of time, which is also punishment. So this influences the punishment and the security parts, I guess. And his health is okay. And apparently we can get a bet better health rating if he can exercise or he, if he is exercising and if he's always well fed. We can in increase this later on as well as the inform part. I guess the higher this stuff is, the lower the estimated, the, the estimated re-offending chance is. And I guess that's pretty nice because, well, if he's not reoffending, I guess it's something good for us. So we're gonna get better prisoners or a better re reputation or more money. I'm really not sure. We just have to see what's happening then. Okay, now that we have our own prisoners, we can also choose at what time what stuff is gonna happen. So for now, our prisoners sleep from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And at 7 a.m. they still have to stay locked up. 
but from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. they're gonna shower, afterwards they're locked up again, then they have some free time, then lock up for two more hours, then they can eat, afterwards they have time to go around the yard for two hours, lock up, free time, lock up, then they're gonna eat again, lock up, and they're gonna sleep. So nothing too exciting happening now, later we can make them work for us, yay, or, well, re-educate them or anything like that. Why are we not getting any power here? Maybe the wall is in the way, I don't know, let's just try it like this. So the food is not being produced yet, but that shouldn't be a problem because it's still some time until lunch, okay. I'm still wondering why they are not starting to cook. I mean, it's one and a half hour away from from lunch, but still, shouldn't they start working now? I'm just gonna fast forward and and hope they're gonna start cooking now. Oh, wait a second. I guess we have to... Oh. I'm just remembering, wasn't there... something we had to do? I think we have to tell... No. I was just going to say we have to tell this kitchen that they should cook for that canteen, but I guess we don't because there's already food here. Food. <laughs> there's already food here. I'm just seeing this report stuff, I guess. Oh no. Sad. That's only the typical one. I thought it was gonna say uh, how we're doing so far, but as I can see here's the evaluation part and we need an accountant for that. But the accountant will shortly be researched so we can just start then. Oh, I just paused the game. My bad. There's no... Where are our prisoners? Oh, right, we can't see them. We turned on fog of war in the beginning. Let's just see, can we put a security camera there? CCTV? CCTV. We need surveillance for that. So maybe this guard? Can we tell him where to go? No, we can't. Like this, maybe? Looks good. Okay, he's walking there now. So he can just watch the prisoners. What does this one mean? Four of zero? Okay, so we have four prisoners and we can only hold zero. I don't, I don't know why we can only hold zero. Maybe they don't want to sleep on a bench. I would... Well, I wouldn't want to. I'm just wondering, a bunk bed would make more sense than a bed, I guess. For four prisoners, two bunk beds should be enough. Let's just try it like that, but we can still... Oh, wait, it's not built yet. Maybe that's why we can't use, um, well, why well, well, we can't um, take four prisoners to our prison yet, officially. And here we see we have to feed all the prisoners now, or not now, but, well, in about half an hour, game time of course. And we have enough meals, but nobody said, nobody has eaten yet, of course. Okay, they have beds now, but they still don't want to stay here. And once we have a psychologist, as we can see here, we can also see their needs, which is pretty nice. For now, let's hire the accountant, put her in our office. Why can't we? Why is it blocked? I really don't know, but, well, we can just, maybe because we can see it right now, because there's nobody in there. I guess that's the point of that. Okay, so now our prisoners are going to the canteen to eat something. Well, we have nine meals prepared, so that should be enough, I guess. And we also just concluded the grant, so we just got 5,000 more bucks. And as we can see, they are all eating. We have four places to eat, so good thinking. <laughs> Only taking four prisoners, because otherwise we would have to build more tables and more banks uh, more benches, but well, we would only notice this yet uh, uh, right now, so um, well, that would be kind of late, and uh, well, lunchtime would be over until we uh, build the well, when we build the um, the bench and the table. So, this way, it's for the best, I guess. They are now filled. Let's just see. Is Mood is pretty nice, okay. And grading, health, well he's not well fed, but still, it's okay I guess. This guy's gonna get out of prison already 
pretty soon, but he only has an estimated re-offending chance of 9%, so that's quite okay, I guess. Okay, so what's next? We could accept another grant. Or, oh, wait a second, we could start researching health, because once we have health, we can get a doctor, which would be pretty neat, I guess. Okay, that should be that. I'm pretty curious what's gonna happen next. I hope you are too. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you tune in next time. Until next time, have a great day, a great evening, a great morning, and of course an awesome night, depending on what time it is when you're watching this video. Until next time, see you everybody. Bye. Hey, once again, and thanks for watching today's episode of Prison Architect. I hope you liked the video. If you did, feel free, give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel. Also, a comment would be nice. I'm always interested in discussing everything about the game right in the comment section. Anyway, until next time, bye everybody.